Graphene's limitless energy potential explored. So move over lithium, whatever else they use for the batteries. Graphene bio implants could be future of perpetual free battery power, dude. Back in 2004, there were these two University of Manchester physis physicists. How do you say that? Physicists. 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 Yeah. Physicists. Physicists. Uh, whatever. Uh, there was these two dudes. I was <laughs> 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 like, oh, no, that would be the, huh. the car. Well, there was these. Uh, back in 2004, there was these two University of Manchester physicists. Physi 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 for two dudes. <laughs> <laughs> dudes <laughs> discovered a way to isolate atom thin sheets of granite, producing graphene. Now, graphene. As, as anybody who follows 3D printing, graphene is a big part of the 3D printing story and what's going on there. Um, and I'm not going to get into details of that. Uh, but something that's actually, it's not 3D printing here that we're going to talk about here. The question he pondered is, uh, so, so, so uh, another group came along from the University of Arkansas just recently and what they were studying is why is it okay graphene is basically it's a 2d sheet of atoms but it's a 2d sheet of atoms that has properties of 3d solid materials and the materials they, they ripple so the researchers from the University of Arkansas read led by some guy he's got a great first name his name is Paul that's a, that's a wonderful first name uh, it, Paul Thibado, Thibado. Right, he sounds Thibado, like he sounds like he yeah. sounds like if we were in Egypt, he would be right by. He'd be right there, right by Thon. He'd be right hey, with Thon, clipping Tony. Hey, right. <laughs> hey Thibado, <laughs> you know, hey, Ramsey, right. Ramsey, Ramsey's calls out, you know, a <laughs> right foot uh, Thon, uh, left foot yeah. Thibado. So right, right. Uh, so what they were what they were looking at, they wanted, they just wanted to understand the nature of the rippling but during the study what the researchers discovered um well it would actually change their focus so what they did was they attached these electrodes to the the ends of the sections of the graphene where these shifts were taking place and to their surprise they actually registered a small shift in voltage and the team, oh boy yeah so the team came to the conclusion that the amount of energy produced in a in what is a it's a it's a 10 micron by 10 micron section of graphene which is really really small by the way uh I think uh so so 20,000 of these you could fit onto the pin of a needle so just to give you uh perspective there but it produced about 10 microwatts of power but that means in the area the size of a pinhead you could be producing 0.2 watts of power the energy produced would be theoretically infinite and but there is a caveat for this and the caveat is that the graphene must be at room temperature about 65 degrees what if it's hotter i i don't know it's 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 not either it's not going to work or it won't be as effective i don't know so the research has been picked up now this part of the story sucks the you by the u.s naval research laboratory with thibado continuing to lead the project so but still it's it's a, it's quite promising i'm really interested in and if you go to istate.tv it's on the front of the site the story and included in there is a video a video called a potential source of clean limitless energy and uh, yeah whenever they're doing these research they make a lot of hyperbolic statements that but but e even if it's not limitless and whatever, it's still it's still now on it's still cool because you can it, it, this this has potential applications in biopharmaceuticals. Yeah, yeah. So it, this this is the technology that may one day power you your cybernetic about, implants. Right. When you uh, become a Borg, <laughs> you gotta go there. Yeah, yeah, you, got, yeah. you gotta go there. You know, you know, you know. One of the one of the safeguards that people have felt good about. Uh, Dude, you suck. Uh, is uh, <laughs> when, when they're talking about these drones, these killer drones, and all these other things. Like, yeah, but you know, they only have so much power. <laughs> right? Maybe not, not so much. You know? Yeah, but it seems highly. I mean, you'd really have to keep it in a, a 
Uh, it's cool. It's cool tech. Um, I, I, I think it's... Uh, it's good. It's great, it promising, has, cool tech. My mind is reeling with the possibilities. The possibilities of... of as, I mean, this. really, if, if you know, I'm, I'm uh, a self-described vis provosian, I believe in understanding the reality of power and... Uh, uh, definitely, if you if if you have a, a technology emerging that enables people to create energy for cheap, that is that would be a fundamental shift in the reality right. of power. Because uh, right. suddenly, yeah, how do how do you contain that? How do you centralize that? How do you control that? It's a lot more difficult. Right. So basically, what you're telling me is that my blockchain based Skynet AI in a super soft, super strong robot body. Will one day be powered by the limitless energy of graphene nano sheets? Yeah, but you're gonna get a lot of dates. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get a lot. Ladies are gonna love you. <laughs> of course, oh you're married, so that doesn't really help you much. It doesn't help me much either because I'm married yep. too. <laughs>